Hey friends, what's up? It's Abby, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Allbirds running shoe. Allbirds was founded in March of 2016, which is now, what, more than 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, a little over five years ago, which is really crazy because that's when I graduated high school. But anyways, they were founded in March of 2016 and they started as a Kickstarter by Tim and Joey, two guys who met because of their wives who went to the same college. The company is pretty well known because of their sustainability and the resources that they use to create their products. Their main resources are merino wool from sheep in New Zealand and then also eucalyptus tree which they use for their tree runners which is what this is made out of. I actually worked at Allbirds when I was living in New York. That was my main gig besides school and I worked at the flagship store in Soho. It was awesome like I love my coworkers, and Allbirds is B Corp certified so they have some different not regulations, but things that they have to, maybe that's the word I'm looking for, different things and standards that they have to have just because they are B Corp certified and they just treated us so well and I loved my experience there. So I would say with that, I maybe go into this review with a little bit of a bias, but it's just because of my good experience with the company. The ones that I have are the Tree Dashers in the color Geyser. And if you're wondering, this is one of their classic colors, which means that they should be in store for the foreseeable future, whereas their limited edition really come and go, which I think is also something All Bros is more known for are their colorful shoes and just that they're often changing up their colors and themes. These ones have the light blue fabric and sole with the dark blue pops on the top and bottom and the eyelets. The outside fabric is made out of eucalyptus tree and then there is some merino wool lining on the heel. The sole is made out of sugar cane and then the insole is made with castor bean oil. And if it hasn't changed since I've worked there, I believe with the shoelaces that one shoelace equals one plastic bottle that they were able to recycle. The nice thing about the tree running shoes and the flats are that both of those come in half sizes, whereas the rest of their shoes, the bull runners and tree runners, come only in whole sizes. I got the size 6 and it is very true to size and I feel like my toe fits right up to where it should be. They also do have a 30 day return policy which is really lenient because you can wear them for up to those full 30 days and still return them and if they are lightly used they do go to Souls for Souls so they're donated and not just thrown out. You can actually see where the product was made when you're ordering, they say right on the site, and these were made in Vietnam and China. And then with the product, it is nice because you can take out the insoles and take out the laces and just throw these on the wash on cold. They are extremely comfortable. I think if you have a little bit of a higher arch or arch issues, they might not be the best fit for you, but you can take out the insole really easily and just replace it with your own, which is something I remember recommending to a lot of customers. And especially with the runners, since they do come in half sizes, you have a lot more adaptability with the fit, whereas I think that was the other largest issue with people is that they felt like they were really in between sizes and couldn't pick a smaller or a larger. Wouldn't recommend, probably, it's probably not great for your knees at all to run in their runners, but I used to run in the wool, well not the wool, the tree runners, and so I'm really glad that they came out with this one with a little bit more support. There is a lot more. I should just go get another one. Okay, so this one is one of my favorite pairs in the color Poppy. I'll do a side-by-side -side here, maybe up close, because not so much that you can tell on the back, but just at least the bottom of the sole. There's just a lot more bounce and support on the shoe itself. And then, of course, like around the ankle fits more snug, which is really great for support when you're running because you don't want that to be loose around the ankle. The other thing with the running shoes is that they just have a lot more grip. If you have owned a pair of the tree runners and have tried to wear them in the rain, it is just not the best experience. So these ones definitely have more grip and I'm not as nervous to be like walking in the rain with them. And for context, I've had these shoes almost eight months. I got them in January and it's almost August, which is crazy. I am not a super avid runner. I would say I run two-ish to three-ish times a week and I just do two to three miles technically typically, or one to two miles. So I don't run like a ton. If you're someone that does marathons or someone that does, I don't know, even 5Ks, because that's not really me, 
then this might look a lot different for you, but I would say eight months in, I think that they've held in pretty well. One other thing with the pros is, actually two things now that I'm thinking of it. One, I love Auburn's branding. I just think it's the cutest and they're always coming up with cool ideas and I love the innovation of different things that they come out with. For instance, their packaging is super fine. And okay, this is adorable. I went home and left New York very abruptly and didn't get to see a lot of my coworkers. So they like sent me, when they sent me my shoes, they signed the box and so I'll just forever keep this box, seriously. Also, okay, there's a lot of special items in here. This is from the store in New York. We used to give out these little handouts that talk all about the materials. So that's just kind of fun that that's in there. I don't know how often this is done anymore, but there are two little holes right here. And sometimes we would not use bags because you know how you'd put like this in another bag and then carry that out. We'd pop these holes out and then take a shoelace and hang the bag from the shoelace and then you'd stick a sticker. You can see my sticker here on the bottom. And then the box becomes a bag, which I don't know. I just think that's kind of cool. These do ring in at about $125, but you do get free shipping with anything over $50, which is pretty much anything. For most sustainable products, I'm always saying that this could be a con is the price, but you have to take in the labor and material and just that you're paying for hopefully better quality. I do see though where that $125 could be a little steep. This feels like kind of a petty con that maybe doesn't need to be a con, but could be. Their colors are always changing, and for someone that's indecisive like me, if I see a color of someone's that I really like, then I'm like, okay, I need to sit on this and think about it if I need to like wait or if I should save more. But it's hard when the colors, especially the limited edition, limited edition ones, can change pretty quickly, and it almost feels like you need to order the color that you want sooner than later. So that can be a little bit of a an anxiousness purchase is not what I'm trying to say for someone that's a little more indecisive. Going along with the color, you can see that there's some dirt around here and they're just a little dirty and depending on the color that you get, more dirt will show. I feel like the trees kind of just pick up more dirt and it just means you have to wash them, but for, I don't know, the average human, I feel like we will just let them stay dirty for a decent amount of time. All in all, if you can't tell already, I definitely would recommend checking out these shoes, especially if you've tried other Allbirds and have liked them, or if you've just been looking for a running shoe for some like casual and cool and chill runs, then I would definitely, yeah, just suggest checking these out. I will put the link down below, as well as an affiliate link that I have that you can get a free pair of socks with your order, which their socks are kind of expensive, so, yeah, they're nice. I think they're made out of Trino, which is a mix of the tree and the wool material. I tried to go over all the main questions I think you guys would have just regarding size and comfortability and longevity, but if you have any other questions, you can leave them down in the comments down below and I will definitely check it out. If you like this video, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!